I'm V from Casually Fragrant. Today I wanted to review three of my Zerjoff fragrances. They are the only Zerjoff fragrances I have. I've had Lyra for a while now and I recently acquired from fragranceby.ca for a very good price, La Tosca and Dama Bianca. Um, I absolutely love Zerjoff fragrances. I've had samples from some other ones. I find them all incredibly well blended top quality niche fragrances in my point of view and Lyra here is one of my favorites. So uh, I'm gonna just go through each three of them and um, I'm gonna start with Lyra. Uh, oh and I should also mention the boxes they come in are absolutely stunning. Each one has a beautiful metallic design on it and like this reminds me of almost like a mukha, mukha drawing um, there and they're just like they're all beautiful absolutely beautiful and so Lyra and I should also mention I've already reviewed Lyra a number of times on my channel so if you've heard me talk about it and you don't want to hear me say the same things please fast forward but for those of you that haven't or if you want to hear me talk about it again uh, Lyra was released in 2011 and it's an oriental floral it has top notes of bergamot blood orange and lavender middle notes of jasmine cinnamon and licorice and base notes of musk vanilla and caramel <clears throat> to me the caramel is very predominant in this along with the blood orange and vanilla it is very long lasting like it will last the entire day and only a few sprays are needed. These are all the 30 mil bottles. They're absolutely adorable. And this has lasted me for a really long time. I should have mentioned uh, Zerjuff is based in Italy. And, uh, and I think I purchased this original one from uh, Lucky Scent from the States. I'm pretty sure that's where I got this one from. So it's very long lasting and it's got moderate to heavy projection. This is my favorite fragrance for winter and fall. And honestly, if I had to live with only three fragrances, I would pick this as one of them. Um, I just absolutely love it. It is definitely one of my favorites. The caramel is so realistic smelling in this. The citrus from the blood orange has like a tinge of sweetness with that kind of... I don't like I can't even like it's just so well like all the ingredients are so well put together in it and the cinnamon is not too overpowering in my point of view with the florals in it it is unisex scent um some people say it reminds them of the L de Lolita Lampica I actually did a video on that I will link it down below comparing the two that was done a while ago so some of the things I say about Lyra might have changed since then but hands down Lyra wins in that and I think that um, if you want, if you like one, you'll probably like the other one, but Lyra is definitely the winner in my point of view from that. And I have worn Lyra out. I have had people, like I've had a server come up to me and she was like, what are you wearing? And when I was like, Zerjoff, Lyra, she's like, what? She brought a piece of paper and a pen and got me to write down the perfume for her. I've had a number of compliments, uh, from both men and women while wearing this fragrance. I have not found anyone to be, um, to find it too offensive or too bold or too, too much. This is just honestly, like, I can't talk well too much. Like, I can't say how much I love this fragrance. Like, it's just, I can't even put it into words. If you have not tried Lyra, I highly suggest you do. If you like Gourmand Oriental Florals, this is one of the top in my point of view. Um, <clears throat> moving along is Dama Bianca. And this bottle is kind of got like a clear look to it um very whimsical looking and that's exactly what this fragrance is like dama bianca translates to white lady and when i spray this i imagine like a woman in a white dress in a gothic castle like a damsel in distress would smell like this it's uh, marketed as a floral woody musk released in 2012. It has top notes of lime and kumquat, middle notes of violet, iris, jasmine, lily of the valley, lilac, and base notes of sandalwood, cedar, vanilla, ambrette, white musk, and malt. This is also a long-lasting fragrance. Now, 
to me, the projection is on the softer side, possibly moderate, but it seems that most people on Fragrantica thinks it's moderate. Uh, it's not soft on them. So, however, I think what it is, is it's a very soft vanilla fragrance. And I don't know how else to describe how it's soft, but it's very delicate. It's a delicate, sweet, not too sweet, like almost like the, the like the damsel in distress has this whimsical fabric flowing behind her and that sh those sheer kind of white like dress kind of floats almost with her and you s smell this beautiful vanilla um and that's what i get in this i think if you like vanilla fragrances you should definitely give dama bianca a try um i've had a few people try it they loved it when they found out the price of it they were like uh, i'm gonna get a different vanilla <laughs> fair enough these are quite expensive fragrances but every now and then uh there are sites that have them you know there's sales that go on you can get a decant i started off with a decant of this fragrance i didn't want to purchase it outright so i got myself a decant from a facebook group uh fragrance facebook group and uh, that's what made me love it i actually used up most of the uh, decant and I gave a couple samples out to people um, and lastly we have La Tosca and once again beautiful bottle it's like this purple uh, this one is see-through as with Dama Bianca so La Tosca is based on a dramatic play from the 19th century in France I believe it ended up becoming an opera later and the opera is a very dramatic and bold piece. I actually saw this uh, in a theater when, uh, as an opera, when I was younger, I think I was 16, I had a cough <laughs> and uh, I tried to suppress the cough and we didn't want to sell the tickets. And I just remember having a lot of cough drops and it was like three hours plus, like three plus hours long. Uh, it was, it, I can't remember if it was in Italian or French opera, but like with all operas, I barely understood what was happening. <laughs> like from if I was just to listen to it, I would not be able to tell you. Um, and uh, like with all dramatic pieces, I'm going to give you a spoiler now. So if you want to watch La Tosca and don't want to hear the spoiler, please fast forward by 15 seconds or so. Uh, but the spoiler is everyone dies. Like with most dramatic operas, everyone's dead. So it's a very dramatic piece. And this suits it so much. This was a blind buy for myself. Um, it's a chypre floral with o like an ozonic type of aquatic feel to it almost. And it was released in 2015. Now the notes are top notes, lemon and mandarin, middle notes of rose, eucalyptus, violet leaf, base notes of patchouli, musk, amber, and vanilla. The violet leaf and eucalyptus are very heavy in this. Now, I should have known because it's called La Tosca, which is a very dramatic, dramatic uh, play. And then I believe Tosca was the name of the opera, which is also very dramatic. So uh, it is very long lasting. All of these are actually long lasting fragrances. That's why I love Zerjoff so far. I have not tried one of his fragrances that was not long lasting. And um, it has enormous projection. I have been looking up a lot of reviews on the fragrances I review on Fragrantica and rarely is enormous the most selected uh, option for a fragrance. And this has enormous projection in my point of view. And as others in Fragrantica also agree, it will, if you like the scent, you'll love it. But if you don't, it will clear the room. I sprayed it twice on my arm when I first got it. My husband walks into the kitchen dining room. We have like a joint one and was like, what is that? And immediately went and opened up all the windows and patio door. Like it was like, it was too much. It filled the entire room. And uh, he's not the biggest fan of those like spa type of scents. So I think the eucalyptus in there wasn't the, uh, was the scent, was the note in there that he probably did not like. And that's probably the, why he had that reaction. But be careful when you spray this. This is not a work appropriate fragrance. Um, Dama Bianca, on the other hand, and Lyra, I think are, especially Dama Bianca, are much more work appropriate fragrances. La Tosca is not. Um, I think it is 
great for like a weekend, a brunch with your friends. Um, if you really want to stand out and have a bold scent, uh, it's this one. And it's got that greenish, fresh smell to it. It's not, it's kind of got, it's definitely the Chypre floral. Like it's definitely classified in that way. If those are types of fragrances you like, I would 100% recommend giving that one a try. I almost want to say it's not a safe blind buy. In my point of view, these two are safe blind buys, uh, but also the cost is quite high. So I think it's always best to get a sample or decant of one of these scents from the more expensive niche fragrance houses such as Zerjoff. So that concludes my review on Lira, Dama Bianca, and La Tosca. Let me know down below if you've tried these three or which ones um, or what your favorite Zerja fragrance is or which ones I should give a try to next because I love the perfume house and I totally want to try some more of their fragrances. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe.